I'm Kim Stanley and you're watching Cox Connections only on Cox 9 Roanoke. Conserving energy and minimizing the Valley's carbon footprint is the mission of Roanoke Valley Cool Cities Coalition. They do this through community outreach, educational programs, and community action. Each year, Cool Cities recognizes the organizations, businesses, and individuals that are working to do what's best for the environment and our valley. Cox is proud to be a Cool Citizens Award winner. Here to tell us about the other winners are Cool Cities founding directors, Diana Christopoulos and Mark McLean. Thank you both for joining us today. Thank you. Why is it important to recognize the businesses and the, the leaders in the community and individuals um, as it relates to these environmental efforts? Well, we think it's, uh, it's a really positive thing, and, and we, we think you, you just can't recognize people who are do, doing good environmental works too much, you know. Uh, it's now really become a, a big part of our, um, our programs, one of our signature programs, and we specifically are looking for people who are doing things to help the environment by reducing their carbon footprint or the greenhouse gas emissions. That's great. Cox was recently awarded um, the, the Media Cool Citizen, let me make sure I get that, Media Cool Citizen Award. Who were some of the other winners? Well, Cox has a, a, a richly deserved that award uh, with all the things that, that have been done here with energy conservation, uh, the electronic re waste recycling. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, Cox participated in our pilot program for our Cool Green Business right. uh, Certification program. Uh, other winners included the uh, uh, Roanoke City Public Schools. They won the top prize, a special achievement award, uh, because they won a, a statewide uh, uh, contest for the uh, uh, Green Schools Challenge that was uh, held uh, last year. We also had uh, uh, individual winners, a fellow by the name of Keith Weinworm, who's a great volunteer on our Green Business Certification Program. Mm -hmm. uh, Steve Sunderman, local architect, uh, got that Schools Challenge Program going here in the Roanoke Valley or in Southwest Virginia, really the whole area. Uh, we had in the government, we recognized uh, Anne Marie Green and uh, Jim Vodnik, Roanoke County, who've done a lot of work with their Citizens Committee and the reduction of uh, greenhouse gas emissions for the county. And also, um, uh, Horn Elementary in Vinton, who've done some really interesting things to green up their their school out there. Uh, on the business side, we had Member One Credit Union, which uh, built a certified green building uh, to house their new facility there, and also Katie Wallace of the Wallace Agency. And uh, the, she's been very, very involved in the Roanoke City uh, Citizens uh, Committee that's uh, working on their greenhouse gas emissions. Um, finally, we had the Sierra Club, Roanoke Group of the mm -hmm. Sierra Club, and they've been a a real leader in the uh, quest to get wind energy here in Roanoke Valley. Wow, just a lot of great yeah. recognition, it sounds like. You mentioned the um, the Cool Green Biz. You've mentioned it a couple of times. I think that's a partnership with you and the Roanoke Regional Chamber. Correct. Tell us a little bit about that program. Well, the thing we love about that program is, is it, it's an example of how doing the right thing is good for business. Mm -hmm. So we developed this program with the Roanoke Regional Chamber, and it includes saving energy, saving water, recycling, a lot of other things. And um, the businesses that have qualified go from small family businesses like Pinot Gelato to bigger organizations like Cox, which mm -hmm. was one of the earliest to qualify. So it means that you're doing the right thing and not just talking about doing the right thing mm -hmm. if you get the cool green biz. And there, I mean, you guys have a, a stringent certification process. A hundred items and we do a site visit. So you know that you really are doing good things. If you see this label, you know that the company or the organization really did something. Mm -hmm. Well, in addition to the recognition that you do, there are a lot of serious issues that are facing our community as it relates to the environment. Why don't you tell us about um, what, what your group sees as the most important ones that, okay. that we're facing across our region? Let me talk about two big challenges and then two really great opportunities for solutions. Uh, the first challenge is uh, clean air and human health. And one of our most active coalitions is the Greater Roanoke Valley Asthma and Air Quality Coalition. Mm -hmm. They have a study now from the American Lung Association that shows that the most significant source of air pollution for us is coal-fired power plants. And they make people sick. Mm -hmm. They make children sick, especially older adults, people who are active outside, like you mm -hmm. and me, that run right. and walk. Um, and people that have heart disease, respiratory disease, or diabetes. In our area, which relies on coal for over 80% of its energy, we're very pleased to hear that the new leadership at APCO is talking about 
cleaner energy sources. But that's our first problem. And the second one's related, sustainable economic development. Mm -hmm. We have so many assets here, beautiful mountains, a wonderful greenway system, lots of outdoor activities, but we can't take full advantage of them until we keep cleaning up our air. And in fact, last year, Microsoft didn't locate in the Christiansburg area, and one of the reasons they gave was they couldn't get access to clean energy sources. Mm -hmm. So I think in the future, it's gonna be important for us to attract new business to clean up our energy supply. So those are two related issues. On the positive side, in the last year, we've been working with Roanoke County, the city of Roanoke, and others on a new campaign. It's called Save a Ton, mm -hmm. and it's going to show uh, residential people in, in all the people in homes around this valley how they can save a ton of money but also a ton of energy mm -hmm. and so look for the save a ton campaign it'll launch this fall wow. and the second one is the second opportunity is for um, green power in this region to reduce our burning of coal by 30,000 tons of coal a year we've endorsed the poor mountain, poor mountain wind farm mm -hmm as the asthma coalition has, and not only would we burn less coal, we would have less air pollution, we'd have hundreds of thousands of dollars of income for the county, and it would be a visible symbol of our commitment to clean air future. Mm -hmm. That's a lot going on, a lot right. of important initiatives, that's for sure. How can our viewers get more information about Cool Cities Coalition? The simplest way is to go to our website, www.rvccc.org, Mm -hmm. and that'll provide all the information and contacts that you need. Become a volunteer, become a member. Join all the coalition, it's right. free join to join, coalition. lend your name to the effort, help us give out information at public events and mm -hmm. support okay. the effort. Great, thank you both for joining. Thank Good you. to see you and thanks mm -hmm. so much for what you're doing with our environment and, and the entire region, we really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Before you go, I want to personally thank you for choosing Cox Communications for your entertainment, information, and communication needs. We know you could have chosen another provider, but because you chose us, we promise to provide you with quality products backed up by a talented local team of professionals. I'm Kim Stanley, and I'll see you next time on Cox Connections.